And welcome to Active Living Television. I'm Bob Eubanks, and I've got two very special guests here today, and I have so many questions that I want to ask on your behalf. I want you to meet the good Dr. Joe Shabarasi and his lovely wife, Kathleen. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank how you. Did you. Tell me about how you got into this business <laughs> and how do you classify the business? What would, in one word, two words, what would you say your business is? I would say integrative. It integrates both conventional and alternative approaches. The funny thing about this is I went to George Washington University School of Medicine, but before I started there, I was actually interested in alternative forms of healing. And when I went to GW, I helped initiate an entire set of electives in alternative forms of healing that were run through the dean's office. It was amazing. It was the most advanced and forward-thinking set of electives ever offered at a medical school. Let me ask you a sensitive question. Every time, and I mean every time, I mention to uh, a doctor about a supplement that's not prescribed, just a mm -hmm. supplement, I usually get a negative what, what, what's going on? Why won't the medical world accept the importance of the supplemental medicine? Well, well there, there's a couple of yeah. reasons for that. Number one, in the United States, when, and certainly when I went to medical school, I think it's still true, we are not trained in natural forms of healing. We're just not in the conventional training in medical school. Now, some schools have broadened that so that they've introduced some electives and courses in this. But in Europe, it's a standard part of medical training at most of the medical schools. They train in homeopathy. They train in naturopathic medicine. That's issue number one. The second issue is there are still relatively few uh, long-term studies on the use of these supplements um, in human subjects, although we find them enormously beneficial, helpful on a day-to-day -day practice. And so it's easy for physicians in the conventional world to say, well, we don't have studies, and they forget that their own studies many times are very limited as well. They forget that. Well, you have a plethora of products, and I'm <laughs> very anxious to talk to you about each one of them and what they can do and how they can help our viewers. Yes. And I'm so appreciative that both of you are here. Let's start, let's just go down the list, okay? Number one, how does a person know that they need a certain nutrient? In my practice, that's such a critical question because many people just take vitamins. They don't even know if they need those or not. We do very specific testing to determine what is actually deficient and what they don't need. So we really can tailor the program to them. And this is exactly how we start off in terms of determining what does a person need. Okay, let's, let's, let's just go down a little. Let's talk about bone health. Okay. Really important. It really is important. And I, and I assume as you get older, it becomes more important. Am I correct? Very much so. It becomes a critical issue as we age. As we age, we become more sedentary. We lose the benefit of our hormones. We become nutrient deficient because our digestion isn't working quite as well as it used to. And with the hectic pace of lifestyle, we end up eating a lot of foods that are fast foods. Those fast foods work against us. Okay, let's say the person needs a bone supplement. What does your product offer them? The beauty of this product is that it's formulated to create what I would call a synergy, a combination of nutrients that are ideally designed to help strengthen bone health. Not only that, but the way that they're formulated, the minerals are created in such small particles by a very special laboratory that we use to create what are called chelated minerals in very tiny particles so people get optimal absorption of the nutrient and not an upset stomach. That's the goal. Oh, interesting. And I, I would say for myself as a lay person uh, that as women get older and I'm getting older, uh, in my family, osteoporosis runs. Mm -hmm. So uh, particularly women with Northern European backgrounds, we're, we're prone to that. And uh, the bone strengthening has been really important for me because my mother suffered a hip fracture and some other things that I didn't want to have to go through. And I just had a bone scan and I'm doing great. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the heart. Yes. Let's talk about the heart because uh, I, I guess it's one of the main killers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And But I, I, I think it's preventable, is it not, with the proper diet? and with the exercise and things of that sort, but you also have products for it. 
Absolutely. Heart health is a very important factor for myself also. I mean, I'm getting older and I have to make sure that I'm staying in optimal health. I have a 14-year-old son that I want to see grow up and, and, and move on. So heart health is very important. I designed something called Cardio Boost. And Cardio Boost is a unique combination of products to really support optimal heart health. It also helps with blood sugar balancing and it's an excellent antioxidant, so it reduces inflammation, helps to reduce inflammation in the body. So the product is a preventative product, uh, as otherwise you don't wait till you have heart problems to take your product. You can take this product mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. to prevent. Is you can take it now as a preventative, but for those who already have issues related to high cholesterol numbers, they may want to consider something like this. This is a real aid to cholesterol balancing in the body. And it's a real aid to my patients. My patients really love this product and find that it's very helpful in terms of helping to support just those areas. I, uh, I no longer have the problem, but uh, I did at one time. I had a weight problem. Mm. And is it junk food or what, what is it? I mean, uh, you know, I was gaining weight. I've got it under control now and I'm okay with it. But do you have products that help with weight control? We do, and weight is a big factor in this country. About 156 million Americans are overweight or obese. That's over half. It's 70% oh. of the U.S. population. So when should a person start taking your supplement uh, regarding weight? Right. So what we're looking at are specific products that are designed to try and help accelerate fatty acid burning at the cellular level, which is a fancy way of saying it helps to burn fats. And that's what's really important about some of the products that have been designed here. The Glucotone was designed mm -hmm. for this. The Echo Slim was designed for this to help assist people in the process of really getting ahead of this weight gain that is almost inevitable as we age. It's inevitable we lose our hormones again, we become more sedentary, we're on the run so much, our sleep is disturbed. It's very hard, if not impossible, to lose weight with poor sleep. We have a sleep support product also exactly for this condition. The Center for Disease Control says that 40%, it's about 70 million adults, have sleep problems. 70 million common. plus one. 70 million plus one. <laughs> and sometimes plus two for me yeah. too. For those who just have a sleep problem, difficulty falling asleep, difficulty staying asleep, then what we have is something called NeuroCalm PM. And in my practice, it's honestly the best-selling product that I carry. These all sell well. That sells the best because sleep is such a difficult problem oh, for many. Oh, boy. And, sure. I, and I use it, and um, I have never had a sleep study done or anything like that. I just know that it helps me not only go to sleep but maintain my sleep through the evening. Sure just through the night. I gotta tell you, you go have a sleep test and they wire you up. Yeah. And I yeah. don't know how anybody can go to sleep with all the wires amazing. going out of your ears it's, and everywhere else. It is amazing. <laughs> Good God right, almighty. Right. Let, let's talk about the female <coughs> body because okay. I happen to think that the female body is one of the more complicated machines that Absolutely. God ever made. Uh, <laughs> uh, menopause. Yes. Menopause, very common. Many women struggle with the following sets of symptoms. Night sweats, hot flashes, warm flashes, depression, anxiety, sleep disturbance, dryness. There's a host, and, and problems with focus, concentration. There's a host of difficulties that many women face mm -hmm. as they move in that transitional phase into menopause. Then would it be safe to say that if a woman is, is still going through uh, that particular time in their life, that they should take your supplement. It would help them. Absolutely. It's, again, a very popular product in my office. There's a component to this called Estro G100, which is composed of three herbs, which work very effectively to help support that transition in, in women and help support that transition in people who are going through that set of symptoms. It's remarkably helpful to bring them back into balance. And he knew he had to get it together because when I was going through menopause, he had to help me out. I did a lot of research on this one in formulating it as I have on all of these products and really wanted to tailor it because the goal here, as with all of these, is to help people. It's yeah. to help them feel better. Sure. Help them to feel better in a safe and an effective way. There isn't a product here that I haven't spent hours and hours researching and detailing and making sure every component of it is right and is balanced. 
Okay, you mentioned a word a few minutes ago, anxiety. Yes. Mm. Uh, men and women, I would assume. Absolutely. Uh, is, is anxiety the same as depression? Not entirely. There are many people who struggle with anxiety. Mood is all right, but the anxiety comes in. It may be just part of their nature. It may be in, in specific situations, in presentations, or any situation in which they may have to be in performance. The product that I've developed is called NeuroCalm. It does not make a person sleepy, but it's very rapid acting onset within usually 30 minutes of taking it. Mm -hmm. And my patients will tell me that it's pivotal for many of them to be able to take that as needed. It's not something that requires a regular use. Is it like an antidepressant? I wouldn't call it an antidepressant. I would call it more of something that helps to balance the issues of anxiety. I just feel balanced when I take it. You know, if I have some kind of stress going on in my life or some event coming up, um, it just smooths it out for me. I don't feel drugged. I don't feel like I'm on any kind of medication. What's the difference between anxiety and depression? Anxiety is more of a state of a hyper arousal. Depression can take that form, but it can also assume a very depleted, fatigued, withdrawn, isolated state. You can feel both at the same time. They can go together. But many times anxious patients will have increased heart rate, increased mm -hmm. blood pressure, increased tendency towards sweating, pupil dilatation. All of these physiological parameters that we look at and we say, that person's anxious. But what we see is somebody who's kind of jittery, jumpy. That's more of the difference. For sex drive and for sex support, I can't say that I would recommend this as a sole agent, but one of the reasons why I created the product Amore Restore was to help with balancing and supporting the proper flow of blood flow to the organs that are really important in terms of male function. Amore Restore? Amore Restore. Oh, you Italians are all over. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's a great name. Yeah. Amore Restore. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Patients love it. Uh, Patients yeah. love it because the males in my practice find it's very supportive of their male function. And in taking that, they find that it's so helpful to helping them regain that. Again, I would not use it for somebody with a serious medical problem. Yeah, but if you've got a CPAP machine on your face and you're taking a more restore, it's not going to do you any good, Coach. Well, it's going to do you good. <laughs> I don't know how appealing it'll be for your partner. Joints. Joints. And I'm not talking about bad bars. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Osteoporosis is, is kind of the final end product. 20% yeah. of Americans with osteoporosis. Men and women get osteoporosis. It's not just a woman's problem. How do you prevent? Osteoporosis is, again, something where you want to make sure that your digestion is in order. Mm -hmm. When you eat, are you getting the nutrients you need? Do you need something like Dietzyme? Dietzyme is a wonderful digestive enzyme that helps to support the natural enzymes in your body to break down carbohydrates, to break down fats, to break down sugars, so that you can get the nutrients you need. But bone support is such an important factor as we age. And that is exercise, that's diet, that's your nutrients, that's your digestive enzymes, and that's the supplements that you take mm -hmm. to build that bone. Boy, you're in a very interesting business, my It friend. is an interesting yeah. business. I, I, I walk into the pharmacy and I see uh, one-a-day vitamins for men, mm -hmm. one-a-day vitamins for women. Tell me about multivitamins. Multivitamins are such a fascinating area. There are some who claim all it gives you is expensive urine. And unfortunately, they're not aware of the studies that have been uh, supported by Oregon State University, the Harvard School of Public Health, as well as Tufts University, all of whom say that nutritional deficiencies are so common in America that not taking a multivitamin multimineral is a mistake. They support the use of multivitamin multiminerals. What distinguishes ours is the way that it's made. And the proof of it, Bob, is in the testing. I test people before and after they're on my Daily to Renew. It's called Daily to Renew. It's, it's my multivitamin, multimineral that's easy to take. I, I want things that actually will help me. And I'm a mom. I'm working. Um, I want things that I know I can trust and that I can take. Well, Dr. Shabarasi has an incredible line of products. and. Uh, if you're watching active living television, and you must be, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see us, you, you need to go on activelivingtv.com and 
if you have any of the of the problems that we've talked about here today, mm. you, you really need to get into it and make your life better, make your life mm. healthier. And uh, this is a perfect way to do it. Uh, it's, uh, it's up to you. You know, it's, it's your health, it's your life. Yeah. What they have done is developed a product that's gonna help you. Now, if you need that help, then you need to take the action too. So I really highly recommend that you get involved with the product I mean, this is a doctor. This is not some guy that's come up with a bunch of, of nutrients. This is a doctor who knows both sides uh, mm -hmm. of the medis medical issue. And that's important. I, I gotta tell you, that's really important. So, you know, it, go to uh, activelivingtv.com or you can call area code 866-262-2999 if you have questions, but for you, for your better being, I highly recommend you do so. Thank you very much for being with us. Thanks. My pleasure, you are Thank you. a great Thank you. couple, and uh, I still got to get rid of that CPAP machine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back to uh, Active Living TV. I'm here with the good Dr. Joe Shabarasi, his beautiful wife Kathleen, and we're talking about supplements. And one of the things that I want to make clear to everybody is that you don't have to get tested to take a supplement. You know, these supplements will help you or help everybody, I would think. Mm -hmm. uh, and what the doctor has done is developed these supplements for specifically for the viewers of Active Living Television. And uh, they're, they're just remarkable because they're gonna help your health, but you've gotta do it too. But you don't have to be tested, you just have to say, okay, I wanna help my bones, I wanna help my heart. You know, so let's talk about, let's run down, the, if we can again, mm -hmm. for sure. bones, for bone density and such? Strong Bones Max, Strong Bones Max designed to help build bone very, properly formulated to combine these, vi these minerals and vitamins together in a way that really helps strengthen bones. Can you take several of these together with, with, with no problem? There's no problem I with do. that. Uh, oh, that's I, I recommend patients to take their supplements with meals with some rare exceptions. It's much easier. One area we didn't touch upon, and I'm having a little problem with it, is memory. You know, I, I don't know if it's uh, because you got older. I don't know what it is. Or you, you got, somebody said, well, when you get older, you've had so much information in your head, no wonder you can't remember it. But uh, it, are there things that can help memory? There's a product called Neuro Renew, which is designed as a com combination of something called PQQ, which has a very long name, Pyroloquinolone Quinone, combined with something called Coenzyme Q10. And that combination is very supportive of optimal health in regards to uh, brain function and brain support. Now this is one of your products. It is one of my products. Mm -hmm. It's called Neuro Renew. I gotta get six bottles of that, I can tell you <laughs> right now. Okay, uh, let, let's talk about heart health then, once again. Heart health. Every one of these products has some limited human studies on them, including the one we just talked about, Neuro Renew. So they're designed to be used in people, not just in laboratory mm -hmm. animals. These are designed for people. So heart health is one that combines something to help balance and support optimal cholesterol levels, blood sugar levels, and is an antioxidant to reduce inflammation in the body. It's called Cardio Boost, and it's a wonderful product. It's very popular, and I think those who are calling into Active Living TV will find that that's useful mm -hmm. for them. Okay, if you're overweight, if you're overweight, you're looking at something like glucotone to help balance your blood sugars. You're looking at some of the fiber and protein bars that we have. We're looking at for dietzyme, which is a digestive enzyme called dietzyme. And we're looking at ways to work with your diet, to work with your sleep, to work with your stress. But those particular products are specifically designed for health. Menopause. Menopause, a big issue for women, yeah. as we talked about. Men too. Men, yes. men go through menopause. Yes, yes. I was yes. going to ask you about that. Uh, I've read articles where men go through certain yeah. times. Does, do you know, I, 
I guess the guys don't take your product for that, though. They wouldn't, but it is interesting in that regard. But it's really designed for women going through the process of night sweats and hot flashes or warm flashes, problems with drop in their mood, increased anxiety, sleep disruption. And this product, Menno Relief, I specifically formulated to help women with that. It's very mm -hmm. popular and it's very useful to help in balancing some of those difficult symptoms of menopause for women. Right, anxiety. Anxiety, that is NeuroCalm as a wonderful product to help balance that issue of anxiety for people. NeuroCalm combines two important ingredients that help move into the brain and help to reduce that level of anxiety by simply feeding it the balance of what we call neurotransmitters that are needed. There are two major ingredients that work very, very well together to do that, and it's called neuro uh, calm. Uh, well, will uh, anxiety cause uh, sleep problems? Mm -hmm. All the time. It's very common. That same formula of NeuroCalm I modified for sleep support, and it's called NeuroCalm PM, a wonderful sleep support. I think it's one of the most popular ones. And it's something that helps to deepen the quality of sleep, helps people get to sleep and stay asleep in a formula that's designed to work in three ways. Initially, to help people get to sleep. In the middle phase, to help people stay asleep. And in, in the longer phase, to help them give that full seven to eight hours of sleep a night that we really need. Let's talk about the brain for a moment. And going back to brain, Neuro Renew is a wonderful product for that. It contains something called PQQ and Coenzyme Q10. Although there's some studies on this, I would say that the overall benefit of it, in addition to what we know from these studies, is that it helps support brain function. It helps support the ability to have a better quality of life in many areas. And that is the reason why I helped develop that formula. Does called our brain change over, over the years? The brain tends to shrink as we age. The te the, the, we tend to lose long-term memory as we age. We tend to have problems with focus and concentration. And this is a combination of many different ingredients. Neuro Renew was designed to help support a general level of health in all these areas. It's a wonderful product. I take this myself. I find it's invaluable. Many of these I'm taking myself. Kathleen takes Absolutely. some of these as and well. From a woman's perspective and being postmenopausal, brain function, fatigue, sleeping through the night, weight control, these are all major issues. And we're, as women, just as busy as we ever were. Absolutely. Joints. joints. Such a struggle for many people. You don't have to have osteoporosis to be having joint problems. Joint Excel is a product that I specifically help to formulate in order to create an environment for the joints that's less inflamed, that helps support reducing inflammation in the body and in the joints. And again, a very popular product because it does help with that quality of inflammation that needs to be brought into balance in the body. And the Joint multivitamin? Excel. The multivitamin, again, specially formulated called Daily to Renew. Very important multivitamin, formulated for easy absorption, easy on the stomach, easy to get the optimal levels of nutrients you need is a general support for your health and one that is very important for all the studies we have to date that support the use of multivitamins and multiminerals. I'm going to ask you a really difficult question. I'm a 77-year-old man. My oldest son is 56. My youngest is 12. I uh, am reasonably healthy. What should I take? Renewed Daily 2 is a great product as a starting point for multivitamins, multiminerals. I definitely would recommend that. I would want to make sure that your sleep is in order. And for that, I would suggest the NeuroCalm PM if there's sleep-related issues. And I think that anything related to joints or bones, we have specific products that help with those as well. And you want to make sure you take care of his love life. That's important. <laughs> take care of my what? Love life. Your love oh. life. Oh. That's a more restore. I, I, a more restore. I am married to an angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are wonderful. Uh, and, and I hope you, that you've listened carefully, and I hope that you will take your life and your health into consideration. And uh, these, are, these are marvelous products. They're going to help you. And they've been developed especially for active living television. And I can't thank the good doctor and Kathleen enough for 
participating, for helping, for developing. You, uh, you, you've done a real, real deed for society, I can tell you that. Thank you so much, Bob. Right. That is the goal of all of this. Well, we'll be back with more right after this. Well, welcome back to Active Living TV. We are learning so much uh, with our good doctor, Dr. Joe Shabarasi, who he is a doctor. He is a medical doctor, but he also has huge amount of interest and information about supplements and how to better our life. And uh, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you being here. Uh, let's talk about protein bars. Absolutely, protein bars. So. What I was looking at is what happens as we age. Yeah. We lose muscle mass. It's Do we very, lose muscle mass? We lose muscle mass. We lose muscle mass for a variety of reasons. We lose hormone support, so hormone support isn't there to help preserve muscles. We lead more of a sedentary lifestyle. We get very busy. We're not able to exercise as much. We're not getting as good a sleep as we used to, and we're not getting adequate digestion. As we age, we lose our digestive enzymes. So protein becomes a real deficiency as we get older. How much protein should we take in in a day? It'll vary depending upon the person. 70 grams is a rough estimate of Ooh. what's a, a, a good amount. But it's really varying between your workout, what you're doing, your, your lifestyle, your uh, exercise regimen. So there's a number of variables involved in that kind of a thing. But you want to be getting adequate protein. You want to look at your muscle mass and see it improving. I personally had issues with this. I only eat fish products, a pescatarian, so I don't actually eat the normal ways that people receive their protein in red meats or, you know, chicken. When people say, just make sure you have your protein, I go, how? <laughs> <laughs> Point to me where, where I can get it from. And there's a lot of people I know that have different diets, even regardless sure. of your age. Right. So, so how can you get a good protein from a bar, from a supplement or something like this that? Is how does that work? Exactly. Thank you for that question. It's exactly for that reason that I helped to create some of these bars. So, for example, uh, we have something called PB Meal, which is a great snack bar between meals. It's a great snack bar because it contains protein and it contains fiber in it at good amounts. We have another one, which is our chocolate and coconut bar, Ooh, which I is like my that. favorite. I like that. And that also has high protein quantities in it. Now, it's not going to replace the total that you need for the day, but what it is going to do is help support what you're doing. It's designed for people with a busy lifestyle or people who just have difficulty with their diets. Okay, so and what other food should I have then? I get the protein bars. Sure. Now, peanut butter? Peanut butter for most people, unless you have an allergy, nope. is actually a very good product. I always recommend organic. There's also cashew butters, almond butters, pistachio butters. These are wonderful nut butters because they're very good in healthy fats mm. and in healthy proteins. Your diet is actually a wonderful one. It's a fish diet. It's fish-based, oh. so that's a good one. Good. And you're getting good omega-3s with that. You're getting excellent protein sources with that. But you want to combine that with fruits, with vegetables, with moderate exercise. Is that protein also? No, it's that more that you're getting good fiber with that. You you're see, getting doctor, good nutrients. <laughs> Here's what bothers me. Our viewer out here, uh, average guy, average woman, uh, and you mention certain things like uh, nuts and things like What can the average person out there in an average situation take in in protein? That's why I said peanut butter, you know. Right. Sure. Well, the other sources of protein besides the, the peanut butters we were talking about are things like meats, fish, poultry, so chicken, so turkey, so uh, any of the fishes, uh, any of the meats, and preferably they would be grass-fed or natural if possible so that you get better forms of fats in the body. But those are excellent sources of protein. There's also vegetarian sources of protein. Beans and corn are the classic example of that. Beans together with corn is a complete protein. You don't have to be eating meat in order to get adequate protein. But those would be the big classes of protein sources. Okay, so your fiber bars, uh, the protein bars, is that just, are they the same? No, the protein bar. The, the protein bar is different yeah. than the fiber bar. The, the protein bar is a little different from the fiber bar in that okay. it's much higher in protein. 
And, and that's the reason why we um, have that, and that's the reason why I helped formulate that. So the, the bottom line on it is that fiber is a big player for cholesterol, for heart health, for healthy bowel movements, for healthy digestion, for healthy balance of bacteria in the intestine. And we have a bar called Choco Mint, which is my second favorite flavor. <laughs> I love the taste of this bar. And it's 14 grams of fiber in it. That's a huge amount of fiber. Is that a lot for a it's fiber a bar? Lot, it's amazing in a fiber bar. That it's, it's amazing in a fiber bar that tastes this good. It's okay. amazing how, how well it, it's, it's put together. Okay, so I'm very guilty of something, of gas station snacking. I don't know if anyone else knows, but it's basically when you're hungry, but you're not quite hungry enough to stop for a whole meal. So you're like, I'm just going to grab something from a gas station. And then I attempt to be healthy by going to the protein bar section. Right. And I usually just gravitate towards a flavor that sounds good. And I right. have no idea what to look for sure. on the back of it. I sure. have no idea if, if, you know, certain amounts of sugars or flavorings or additives. Are yours, would you say, more healthy, more natural, have less, you know, artificial sugars or something much, like that? Much, very, very true, Natasha. Okay. It's exactly designed for that. So you can actually look on the label itself of the bars and see the fiber. You can see the sugar content, which is very low. I use sugar alcohols in these bars. Sugar alcohols are very poorly absorbed, but they're slightly sweet, so they add oh. flavor to that. So they don't raise blood sugars to any degree of significance, and the protein components in them are very, really e very easily digested. I've never so heard of sugar alcohols, I have to tell you. Sugar alcohols are wow. a natural form of sugar that is very poorly absorbed. So what you don't see is people with diabetes getting significant bumps in their blood sugars, or people who have regular blood sugars getting bumps in their blood sugars. That's why those are very helpful. Things like xylitol can be used in those kinds of bars. So you get that benefit. You get a little bit of sugar, you get protein, and you get fiber, and it's listed right on the label. Wow, Doctor, great. what's a probiotic? A probiotic is one of the other crucial factors to good health. When we look at probiotics, people say, well, why do I need to be putting bacteria into my body? Because probiotics are bacteria. But they're, the good. Huh? They're healthy bacteria. I see. The Mayo Clinic says you should be taking a probiotic. The Mayo Clinic says that. That's one of the leading research centers in the world. And what they're saying is you need to be putting healthy forms of bacteria into the gut. It's so helpful for intestinal problems. It's so helpful for colds and flus and flu prevention. It's so helpful for things like yeast infections. So there's a whole range of things that these probiotics do. And it's one of the reasons why I formulated my product called Ultrabiotic. It's very unique, and I'll be happy to tell you why if you ask me. Oh, why? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm super curious because th these are two words that I know, and I feel like they're like I'm saying a magic spell. But acidophilus and chiodophilus, right. and I know that I, one is different than the other, and I, I, I'm guilty. I've bought both not knowing what they were, only mm -hmm. because I've been told that they are kind of the magic cure-all for most of your ailments because so many ailments can come through your diet. So well, as long as you keep your digestive system healthy, yes. you're on the right track. So I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this with so little information. Chiodophilus, is that in your acidophilus? Is that something you have? We have about eight different strains of bacteria that are lactobacillus and bifidobacter, which are fancy ways of saying different kinds of healthy bacteria. But in this product, the very unique part to it that sets it apart is something called Saccharomyces. What is Saccharomyces besides a big word? Saccharomyces is a yeast that helps protect against yeast overgrowth. So it's very unique, very well recognized, but very few, if any, products contain that beautiful combination of healthy bacteria with a yeast overgrowth preventative in it. So it's a, well, I, I love this product. I take this product. It's a great one. <laughs> so my little boy was put on an antibiotic, but the doctor yes. also said he needs to take a probiotic every day. Yes. That's the good that's the good form of it, and Saccharomyces in that setting, yes. this product, Ultrabiotic, would actually be a superb one for him because one of the big issues with antibiotics is yeast overgrowth. Yes. When you kill off the good bacteria, you're killing off some of the good bacteria, you're killing off some of the bad bacteria. The antibiotic doesn't differentiate between what's good and what's bad. It's there to kill bugs. It kills bugs, but in doing that, too much yeast develops in the intestine. That's why this product helps to replace wow. the healthy bacteria and prevents that yeast from growing to greater than Do you think the time will ever come when our immune system takes over and 
with products like yours to assist it that we won't have to take antibiotics? And I'm so glad you asked that question, Bob. It's such an important question. It's totally and ultimately the goal is to support the body so it can do its job. Mm. Give it the right nutrients, give it the right environment, give it the right sleep, give it the right stress reduction, give it the right diet, give it the right absorption. And these will all help foster an optimal level of health for the immune system. That immune system is such a crucial player as we get older. It's going to cure cancer, isn't it, eventually? Ultimately, that's <laughs> why cancer will be cured. It's our immune system right. that has to be able to carry the weight of it. We take the medications that are needed for that setting, but ultimately it's our immune system that has to carry the weight. What would you recommend to someone who is just average overweight or really overweight? What should they do first? They should first work in their minds to get their head around the real probability that they can lose that weight. It is possible. It is not something that's hopeless by any means. That's the first step. The second step is to get the guidance they need in terms of what would be a diet that fits them. They want to have an individualized diet. Another important step, of course, is the use of specific supplements to help with that. I have a quick question in terms of the probiotics or even the, the help with the managing yeast. How many of these things I say are offered in basic grocery store items, you yes. know, yogurts or this or that. How, do, how does your product compare to something that you could say maybe in one cup of yogurt that people say provide a similar, similar service? Again, really important and it's one of the reasons why I formulated this in the way that I did. Because what happens is many times in grocery store products, they're not properly protected to get through stomach acid. Sometimes in transport, the heat just in, in, in the truck, it's it's being carried in will kill off many of the bacteria they don't survive and they don't contain that special form of yeast that protects against yeast so these are forms of bacteria that are heat stable they are very stable at room temperature you do not have to keep my product in the refrigerator you can keep it out on the shelf and after three months on the shelf it has about 90 percent active effects oh, wow. it's been mm. evaluated i needed that when i created it because yeah. the problem is we all have this issue we put it out we forget it it's left out overnight and then half the bacteria are gone in most of these products that's not the case with this. It's very stable and very effective. Doctor, how can we get the government to get off their patoot <laughs> and start testing the supplements like the Europeans have and telling us which ones are good, which ones are bad with, with real research? It's a real issue. A lot of the research comes currently from places throughout Europe and in Asia because they are interested in this and because in many of these places they don't have the massive wealth that often is pervasive among the pharmaceutical industries to support that kind of research. They have to use natural products. So we've looked at their research. These are good university studies. But it comes down to an issue of politics and money and time. And that's where we kind of have problems right now. Okay, I'm going to get really controversial. <laughs> uh, is, is it against, is it to the drug uh, company's advantage that these supplements are not being tested? It's to their advantage to get involved in it for their own benefit. Many times the problem with the pharmaceutical companies is they're happy to do the research but try to make it impossible for people to obtain it without a prescription because the name of the game is prescription medicine. That's what medicine. I was wondering, yeah. You are a remarkable man. Yes. And I cannot thank you enough for, first of all, working with Active Living uh, Television uh, in developing these products, and I really hope that you folks at home take advantage of it. Thank you, doctor, so much. Very welcome. It's my pleasure, Bob.